Well, hello there, neighbors. Come on in. Join me at my table. Let's sit down and have a discussion. After yesterday's video, I didn't know if I'd ever come back or not. I could not believe the kindergartenist that was in that video. But you have to start somewhere and and it's out there now and I can't take it back. So I hope you all got something out of it. And the feedback that I got from you all were, the, were so, was so sweet because I know it was kind of rough for y'all to watch because I went back and, and looked at it and thought, sweet Jesus, how in the world did I post that without laughing or just going, uh, I'm so embarrassed, but you know, it is what it is. And I feel like it's going to get better as I keep going. But first of all, I'd like to say thank you for joining me once again. Um, first of all, I want, when we come to the table to have a discussion or I want to talk to you because I plan on one day going live and we can have a live discussion. But right now, until I get used to YouTube, I kind of want to work with this, with what I have, because I want to get the nerves down and the ability to quit saying, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and just be able to talk through, just like I was talking to, uh, my sister, my daughter, my son, my husband. So until I kind of get that down a little bit, I'd rather stay with just a video. But I do want to make a few points in my video so you won't have to listen to me go on and on and on like the Energizer Bunny. So let's get on with what we want to discuss. First of all, I'd like to say, when you come to watch my video, bring your favorite drink. I mean, if you're a coffee drinker, which I am, but today I'm not drinking coffee, drink, bring a cup of coffee, a glass of tea, uh, a, a glass of wine, bring a beer, whatever your drink is, just bring it and let's just chit chat. Let's just talk. Let's just listen and try to understand each other because that's what makes the world go around is to be able to come together and agree to disagree. Or maybe some days we might agree with everything we say to each other, which will probably be boring because when we all agree on the same thing, life is boring. Um, great dis discussions come from people that disagree with each other. That's where great discussions come from. But they don't get mad at each other. They just leave the table with, hmm, let me think about that. I may want to give that a second thought. And they learn from it. You know, your perception is your reality. So whatever you perceive that's going on in your life, that is what's happening. Uh, no matter what anybody else says, your perception is your reality. So we need to get a good perception of what's going on in our life. Some of us have been through some tragedies. I mean, look what we just went through. We went through Hurricane Ida and people were uh, displaced and, and uh, they no longer have a home. Or, I mean, my son, for instance, he lives in Louisiana and his family um, had some damage to their home. They had lights. Uh, they didn't have lights for several days. And they have a baby that, um, she's only eight months old. And it was very difficult for them to deal with, uh, the hurricane. And they did not have half the damage that a lot of people had. And I cannot imagine the pain that you all that have suffered from Hurricane Ida, what y'all are going through still going through and my heart just goes out to you and i would like for you to know that i have said prayers for you and i know that you will make it through this because i know that louisiana people are strong and the reason i know that is because my husband is from louisiana we have been married for 34 years yeah i have put up with him for 34 years and vice versa because you know it's a tit for tat thing but we've been married for 34 years, and he moved to my hometown when we got married. He left Louisiana and came to Mississippi. So I know how strong Louisiana people are. I know they're survivors. I mean, I want to stick with my husband because he knows how to survive. He can hunt. He can fish. He can plant gardens. He can grow gardens. I mean, he can just about turn anything into something. 
And when everything goes awry, that's who I want to be around, especially the shape that I'm in today where I can't function as well as I could several years ago. But let me get back to what I'm drinking. Today, I'm drinking sweet tea. Now, I know a lot of people that are not from the South do not drink sweet tea, and it may not be appealing to you. But in the South, this is our go-to drink, believe it or not, for most of us. Well, it is within my family. I really can't speak for everyone else. But I'd like to give you a recipe on how to make sweet tea if you'd like to try it. Now, I drank unsweet tea uh, in my younger years when I was trying to diet wanted to lose a few pounds, lose weight, you know, look better, whatever. And I can drink unsweet tea. I have no problem with that. But I love sweet tea. So I'm going to give you a, a recipe on how to make my sweet tea. First of all, you we have a community uh, tea here. That's the name brand, community tea. And then we have Lipton. And we had different brands, but we use Community and Lipton and Louisiana Tea. But you can take any tea bags that you want to use. And you take four of the small tea bags and two of the large tea bags. And you put them in a boiler with about, I'd say, five cups of water. Or just fill it up almost to the top. I don't measure with tea. I've made it so many years. And... I'm going to tell you one thing. Don't let it come to a boil. Because if you do, it's going to be bitter, bitter, bitter when you make it. And that's a lot of people's mistakes. Because when they've tried sweet tea, it's been a bitter and they haven't liked it. Well, that's been my experience. So, right when it starts simmering, you need to cut it off. Let it simmer for about five minutes. Once that's done, you take a gallon uh, tea pitcher and you strain your tea into that pitcher with two cups of sugar now i know you're probably saying whoa <laughs> that's a lot of sugar and it is and i would say if you were a diabetic mm, uh, when you're going to make your glass put a half a glass of the tea and then fill the rest of it up with water because that's what i have to do sometimes because it's a little too sweet for me sometimes with my condition so, once you get the tea and the sugar in there, you stir it up, get it all stirred up so that sugar can melt into that pitcher. And then, you run water to the top of the pitcher without it overflowing, just to the rim. And there you have sweet tea, and of course, you serve it over ice. Now, a lot of people, like I say, up north, don't really care for sweet tea. But here in the south, we love it. So today, I am drinking sweet tea. Now, the next time we meet, I may be drinking coffee. Um, some days, I be I might be drinking some kind of juice or whatever I want to drink for that day, I'll bring to the table. And you just bring what you want. I mean, bring the drink of your choice and sit down and uh, click on my video and listen to this old fat southern woman uh, talk about the things that she is going through and the things that she wants to be able to share with you now yesterday on my video or the first video that i made i talked about some of the youtube channels that i watch and i named them well today i have several more youtube channels that i want you to know that i tune into because these are the people that have encouraged me to be able to come to the table and start a YouTube channel because I would have never done this years ago. And I, th I would like to mention uh, Scrapping with Matt, um, Just Me, Kathy, Storage Stalker, Junk Dauber, Scrap Farm, Grizzly Adventures, Apartment Scrapper, Blue Bus Dave, uh, Breakfast, um, Part Time Picker. I mean, I just watch all these channels to be able to just admire and just think to myself, wow, how do all these people uh, edit and have all these great, um, 
little thumbnails and different th music to their video. How does that happen? And you know, I consider myself well educated. I didn't ever think I was illiterate or dumb or anything, but for some reason, I just can't grasp the end of the straw as far as the editing and the thumbnail and the, uh, which I have never been uh, mechanically inclined. And you can ask my husband about that. He will definitely agree with me on that. But I'm trying to learn all this and I hope soon that I will. But I want you to know that I am wanting to discuss with you about positivity today. Now, since we have been through so much in our in the United States over the last almost two years, our ability to be positive and be uplifted has just been struck down by this pandemic that we're going through. Now, every morning that I wake up, I'm in excruciating pain because of my disease. So I'm not very good in the morning time when I wake up because of the pain level that I'm in. But I get up and I say to myself, it's another day, you live, wake up, move, get going. You know, it's another day to live, it's another day to make a difference. So I get up and I start moving. I eat my breakfast, I take my medicine, and about, I'd say 11 o'clock, I can function pretty well till about 8.30 at night. But morning times are not very good for me, and I know that. So I don't get around very many people early in the morning except my husband, because he completely knows me like the back of his hand, and he accepts me for who I am. And he knows the struggle that I go through with my autoimmune disease. But I said that to say this, if you're not a morning person or if you're not a night person or if you get ill for no reason or if you have a reason to get ill, it's okay. I mean, be who you are and people will accept that. And that's the only thing I've ever wanted to do was to be me and for people to accept me for who I am. Now, I've changed a lot since I've come down with this autoimmune disease. I'm not the same person. I mean, I used to be the life of the party. I'd go out. I had lots of friends at work. We would go out and and shop and and go to movies and and Christmas shop together and and just do different things, but I don't have that now. But I've made the best of it. So what I'm trying to share with you is if you wake up in the mornings and you're just down and out and you feel like you just can't go on for that day or you just don't want to, go to go to something that's positive to you. I mean, there has to be something, your help, your family, uh, a friend, something that someone said to you. Um, just grasp on to one positive thing and go with that and say to yourself, I'm going to make it through this day on a positive note. Now, I know that that's hard sometimes, and I know that the pain that some people have went has went through is that little something is not going to make a difference. But on a regular basis, if you would just wake up and think to yourself, I have another day to live. What is my purpose? And look for that purpose and know that there's someone out there that needs you, loves you, and wants you to be in their life. And if you don't have that, look for it. Seek it out. Know that you are valuable enough for someone to care about you, to want you in their life. No matter how you look, no matter what, how you sound. Now, I have a little Southern accent with, with uh, being from the South and... I know a lot of you are going to be able to deal with it. And then a lot of you are going to hold your ears to the point of saying, oh, I can't take her anymore. Her voice is just too bad. And I understand that and I accept that. And I hope that you will continue to give me a chance to bring to you things that you may not have thought about or things that you can giggle about because I hope that I say funny things sometimes because um, especially my trips to the doctor 
uh, I always try to turn that into something funny because it's so negative when you look at it from the world's view. I mean, I don't even get on the scale anymore. I mean, friends of mine asked me, is that a thing you can do? Is you can not, you can tell them that you don't want to get on the scale and weigh? And I'm like, what are they going to do to you if you tell them no, that you don't want to get on the scale? Are they not going to see you at the doctor's office? Of course they are. And now that I've gained so much weight, when they say, would you please step on, up on the scale? I say, no, I don't want to weigh. I know I'm fat. I don't want to get up there. I mean, I have that right to say that I don't want to get on the scale and I don't get on it. And so when I go to doctors, I try to find some kind of humor in it because if I didn't, I would be depressed all the time because of the many things that this autoimmune disease has done to my body. It has just about destroyed it. But I'm here to tell you, you're worth something. You are worth a lot. And maybe you haven't recognized it or maybe you haven't uh, decided in your heart or in your mind that you are. No matter what happened to you in your past, because I can assure you that if I ever talk about my younger years growing up, that it would just make the hair on the back of your hair, the hair on the back of your head stand up. Because I've been through some things that are, you know, survivable, but ironic and weird and sad. And I mean, and like everybody has, everybody's been through hurtful times, uh, abuse, uh, just different things that they could talk about. But I'm here to tell you that I'm here to listen for you to be able to confide in me, to know that I would listen to you about anything that you would tell me or say or have to say. Um, because this is an open discussion here at my channel. Um, you can inbox me. Uh, you can email me. Uh, my email address is on my channel. Uh, so you can email me anytime you would like to. Um, and I may have to email some of you because like I said, some of this is just going like crazy, um, with me trying to learn how to edit and how to, uh, like one of my friends on YouTube, uh, said, I don't want to offend you or anything, but your glasses had a glare when you did your video last night or yesterday or whenever you did it. And I was so thankful that she sent that to me and was able to share that with me because I do not mind constructive criticism. I'm okay with it. And today, I hope the lighting that I have until I can figure out something better as my channel grows, I hope this lighting is not too dark because I didn't want to glare on my glasses because I can share one thing with you. If I don't have my glasses on, I can't see a thing. Another effect of the steroids that I'm taking. It has affected my eyesight really, really bad. So, I'm going to end this second video with let's stay positive. Let's reach out to each other. Work through whatever we need to work through. Share with each other positive things. Say positive things to each other. And know that there are other people out there that needs to hear your voice, hear what you have to say, and what you have to say is important. No matter how Southern it sounds, no matter how uh, weird it sounds, someone is going to get something out of it. So let me tell you this, YouTube family. You are wonderful. I am so happy to be a part of you, you all and the YouTube family that I don't even know how to, if I could stand up and dance, I probably would, but I can't because I can't walk anymore. But hopefully one day I'll be able to do that. So for now, I just want to say bye YouTube neighbors. I'll check you out on the next time we have a visit. Bye.